early this morning, the body of Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI was moved from the Mater Ecclesia Monastery to St. Peter's Basilica. Some of the Pope Emeritus's close friends spent a few moments praying before the body was moved. Archbishop Georg Genswein and the four lay women of the Memores Domini Association followed closely behind. A few heads of state, including Italian President Sergio Mattarella and Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni, stopped to pay their respects in St. Peter's Basilica. They were among the first to visit before the basilica was open to the public. Crowds of pilgrims began flooding St. Peter's Square, lining up to say their last goodbye to Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI. Some were simply visiting Rome for vacation, but are scheduling time to pay their respects. A surprise, yes, but a good one. It's, uh, it's nice to see so many people. I mean, it's uh, something you have to experience, I think, if you're here at the right time. Uh, see all the believers and stuff like this, it's, uh, it's very nice. Other pilgrims had come to Rome on vacation with their family, but they continued to follow the news of the Pope Emeritus and were shocked by his passing. I didn't expect him to die. I knew he had been in a delicate condition for a long time, and it's a shame at this time of year, but it is an historic moment for us to be here. Even people who live in Rome were spending the morning waiting in line to pay their respects, including Sister Edevane, who had just visited Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI on behalf of her community. Me siento privilegiada por estar aquí y para él. I feel privileged to be here, and we're praying for him, for his eternal rest. And we also ask his intercession for us, who are still here on this earth, to be faithful to God, faithful to the church, faithful to Our Lady as he had always been. Meanwhile, people continue to line up in St. Peter's Square to bid the Pope Emeritus a final farewell, and more are expected to arrive in the next two days. Five years after his resignation, those who shared his final moments as Pope, his friends and the Vatican spokesman, give us the full story. We recall the most important times of his life in first-hand accounts by his brother and friends. They range from his childhood in Nazi Germany until his retirement in the Vatican Gardens, without forgetting his glory days, proclaimed by the people. Benedict XVI, in honor of the truth.